guess I gotta get my gun. I guess I gotta shoot someone. Bang, bang. Correct, sir.
Возвращается обрататься! Возвращается обрататься! Да, товарищ капитан! Quite sure that this is the place. Yes, yes sir. Oh, um. Uh, well, um, you wait here and I'll make certain. Uh, and uh, mind my back. Yes, sir. Direct me to Major Burnside, please. Ja nie chcę wracać do Warszawy. Tam są Rosjanie. Moja żona jest w Lincu. Musicie mi pomóc. Ja jestem silny. Mogę pracować. Słuchajcie. Idę hałgoszon. I heszek wodziung. Huszon nie dziurają nam za walk. On nie ma my chlad, panie. Ни слова не понимает, ни по-полски, ни по-румянски, ни по-чешски. Hand away. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, sir. Do not be angry. Kaya kel! We are all very happy to see you. Too happy. Forgive us our happiness. The Major has taken this house for his office. Thank you. The walnut. The walnut. The walnut. How many languages do you know? Uh, Latin and Greek, sir. Ancient Greek? Yes, sir. Very useful. Oh, yes, sir. That's what they said to me at school, because uh, Greek is the basis of the Russian alphabet, and, of course, Latin is the root of all the Latin languages. You surprise me. Uh, where shall I put these? Over there. And you do understand the Mediterranean languages? <laughs> well, school friends. France happens to be on our side. And sometimes General de Gaulle seems to forget. <laughs> And a few words of Spanish. Spain is neutral. Any German or Italian? If it was a priest, sir, I could talk to him in Latin. I'll remember that. My advice to you, Mr... What is your name again? Uh, Pilkington, sir. As a linguist, hold your tongue. I fail to understand how you ever could have been assigned to military government. General Bewley thought it would be good for me, sir. Well, the general did, did he? And good for me, too, I suppose. Do you realize there are over four million displaced persons in Europe at this moment? Right here, we have Italians on the Russian front. We have Ukrainian women who were slave labor for the Nazis. Poles who were forced to mine salt in Bavaria and God knows what. Have you seen any action? Uh, no, I haven't, sir. Not really. Really? Well, you may yet. But because he'd beaten the Nazis, it doesn't mean the war's over. He may divide Austria temporarily with the Russians, but that can change. You don't think, Major Burnside. We're not paid to think. At the moment, the official policy is we are Uncle Joe Stalin's firm friends. That is to say, we're firm, but friends. Uh, yes, but I understood our object was to... My object is to get out of here as soon as I possibly can. And back to some proper soldiering with my regiment. I shall have you replaced, of course. 
We have to end the chaos here, not add to it. We have to interrogate that rabble in every language under the sun. Sort out their papers and then send them on for final screening, either by the Americans at Linz or the Russians at Freistadt. Uh, HQ did ask me to tell you, sir, that uh, they just happened to have another man to spare. Sergeant Woody. Stop. Please accompany Mr. Pilkington to supervise the digging of a camp latrine. Uh, 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 may I make a suggestion, sir? You suggested quite enough. Carry on. Uh, but there was uh, this um, strange man. What man? Uh, when I came in the camp, uh, there was this man. Uh, well, well, he could speak every language, sir. Did you ask his name? No, sir. Sir Woody, General Fallin, identification parade. Stop! Come on, you bleeding up, get a move on! Up, get a spinning drive! Come on! Someone move it, bring it up! Get in those lines! Come on, come on, come on, come on! You heard what I said? That means up the bleeding double! Sunday school out in no. Oh, oh, come on, open your legs. What? No, I'm going to rape you, lovey, down up front. Alfie, take care of her, will she's a bit frightened of me, Alfie. Come on, Grandad, it's your birthday, up there. Come on, bring the rest of them in, will you? Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Rush, rush, straight line up there, form three. Come on, let's get your bleeding fingers out. Let's go, Camp parade present, ready for your inspection, sir. Parade, Sam Woody? I don't see a parade. Camp refuse present, ready for your dispatch, sir. Call them to attention, sir. Parade! Parade! Charge! No, 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 not like that. Get back, you! Sam Woody, leave it. Leave it. It's hopeless. I just want to identify one man to help us get rid of them. There is a man. There is a man among you who speaks many languages. I am offering a job. A good you job. You the guys for what? Job. I'm looking for an interpreter, camp interpreter. Lagerni Sirivochi. There will be a cigarette allowance, army rum. Vodka. Shlibovitz. If I don't find him, it'll take you all twice as long to get home. Uh, sir, sir, that's him. What is your name? Yanovich, Major, sir. What languages do you speak? Russian, Polish, Greek, Hungarian, German, Romanian, Bulgar, Serbo-Croat, Romani, Italian. Some Arabic, some Yiddish, a little Chinese. Chinese? Just in case. Where did you learn all these languages? Well, I've had to travel, Major, sir. I want you to tell them the camp rules. All are free men, so long as they stay here. If they stay, they will be fed and sent home quickly. But if they move on, they will probably starve. And they may get shot. Our patrols are still hunting Nazis in this area. Well, tell them, Major, sir. Yeah, first of all, tell them to fall out over there and get their rations. Yes, Major, sir. Друзья, хотите покушать? Так еда там. That's a great pity for you. Well, I can't help it. This is a clearing station, not a rest home. It's my duty to decide at once, rule of thumb, whether a man goes to the Americans or to the Russians. But how? 
It's a question of papers. If you have papers, it's very simple. We send you where you should go. If you don't have them, maybe you had some reason for getting rid of them. I, I lost them, Major Sir. An accident. The horse ate my pen. That's bad luck, isn't it? Where did you say you were from? Well, I, I was born on a cart between Tiflis and Tashkent. My father, he did many things in many places. I can tell you, Major Sir, we have to be very careful. Any place I ever sit down for a rest is on wheels. You speak English and Chinese, you never wandered there. Ah, they come to me, Major Sir. An English woman, a Chinese woman in Latvia. Live with a new woman, learn a new tongue. It's better than Berlitz. An English woman and you? Well, I speak English fine. Seven English women. Yanovich, it really doesn't matter very much what lies you tell about your past, provided you are useful in the future. Now go and see Sergeant Woody and get a clean uniform. No badges. You're not part of the British forces. They say everywhere, help a British man and he helps you. We have a saying in Britain, he helps best who helps himself. Major Sir, I cannot help myself to papers. You're a rolling stone, aren't you? Where do you want to roll to? West. We have another saying, join the army and see the world. Don't believe it. I believe you, Major Sir. So I'll help you very much, and you'll fix it. And I'll fix everything here by the end of the summer. They have a beautiful saying in Itosca. When the first leaf falls, all corn must be back in the barn, and all men. All these men will be back in the barn down the road right now. The women and children will be billeted in this house. Fraternization will be strictly forbidden. I'll explain it, Major Sir. Men over there, women and children in here, no contact, official. Do you really think you can help me clear up this mess before next winter comes? By then, Major, sir. You'll need more than tricks. Go and report to Sergeant Woody. Splitting, isn't it? Yeah, get another one, though, won't you? Yeah. So, that's ours. David, will he? Straight up there. Come on, Bert. Right, up a bit more. Up a bit. Yeah, left. Left a bit. That's lovely. Right, come on, let's check yourself. Get your teenager to that. I'll stop To that. Do you mind? That Alpenhaus is ours. Alpenhaus, Nasha. Who do you think you are, Catherine the Great? Pisofsky. <laughs> Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Arbitration! Hobby! Willie! Get the major on the radio. Give you this candira. See you in Ivans. David? Taco. Don't they have no smokes? You can't have tobacco in Russia. They just have snow and wolves. Where does it come from, then? 
Yanks make tobacco in tin cans. We don't budge. This building is in the British zone, and that's that. Yanovich, well, stop scouting that there. Come and interpret. Mayor говорит, что здание то в британской зоне, и они не уйдут. Скажи ему, что это советская зона, и что бы убралось к черту. He says this is the Russian zone, and that is that. Well, tell him the Russians are known for taking what they want without asking or paying for it, but this time they don't get away with it. Майор предлагает начать переговоры. Никаких переговоров с империстами. He says, let us negotiate. Your interpreter, Major, is either very bad or uh, too clever. He doesn't translate, he smooths. Why the hell didn't you say you understood English? You didn't ask me. All right, Yandich, I'll do this. There's no question of negotiating, Captain. We take the building. Take? I would like an imperialist power. Don't ask. Take. We have an armored brigade ten miles away. We have an infantry division near Freistadt. Is it worth it for a ruin? You answer. Well, be reasonable, man, as allies. For the moment, and only against the Germans. We do not move from what is our zone by right. Nor do we. So, our division advances. And our tanks. If you had moved your tanks to Austria two years earlier, many million Russians wouldn't be in their graves. We were already fighting on three fronts and preparing the Normandy invasion. You didn't beat Hitler on your own, you know. I would give it to you, you fool. It's so... Uh, uh, worthless. Worthless. Who cares? But our orders are we keep everything. And our orders are we keep everything. And I obey orders always. You would. <laughs> Allies. Kboyu Gatov. Switches. Stick break. Lutz. Dashi, Naruku. Four arms. Frontier is there. Volna! Stick of the Knuts! A big man, it's. Ashley! What's that? Good lamp, Jed! Father, quick march! Well, a half is better than a hole in the head. Sie werden mir mein Haus nicht wegnehmen. She says you shall not take her house. Everybody's giving me orders today. Tell her this is war, and I have the right to requisition what I need when I wish. As is Krieg. The war is over, is it not? Everyone is expecting our coming, too. Maybe I don't need an interpreter after all. I shall take the inn if I need it. But it is mine. I keep it. If I wish. Hello. 
Nice work you made just, Anger. Of course, it was all bluff. We are too small to make decisions. They have been made at Yalta. Yes, we're not too small to make incidents, sir. It was a good solution, you must admit. Except for the owner of the private property. Oh, surely English capitalists should care about that. <laughs> In Austria? <laughs> no. The Major thinks that all Austrians are Nazis under their skirts. Uh, easier to handle if you can think that way. Uh, one thing, uh, you interpreter, who is he? Well, we simply don't know. He just dropped down, you know, <laughs> manner from heaven. Man from Odessa, judging by his accent. Wilkington! Oh, awfully sorry, goodbye. It's a mistake, they say. They should go to the American clearing station at Linz. I don't make mistakes. The orders are perfectly clear. When in doubt, displaced persons are returned to their countries of origin. They doubt, Major, sir. I doubt. Silence! Hey, Yanovich! Ступай с нами, там водка, девчата, иди с нами. Молчи, дурак. Oh, go on, Yanovich, translate. Well, he says I should go to Russia, too. All aboard, Sergeant Woody? All present, correct, sir. Price at 24, Lynch 7. All right, put an arm guard on this one, two men with fixed bayonets. The Russians want all their own back. See that nobody skips. Stop. Where are you at, the Major? You and you. Jump up, look sharp. Any of those sardines move? You should can out. All right, lovey. I'll have a nice hot supper waiting for you. Hey, Terra! Pull your bleeding finger out! I must say, I wouldn't be looking as sad as that if I were going home. Suppose you were a collaborator or a class enemy. Suppose there was ten years hard labor in a salt mine waiting for you at the other end. Would you be lining up for your return ticket? No, sir. <laughs> Must they go if they don't want to, sir? The high ups drafted the orders, I didn't. But I thought we fought this war for human rights so that people could uh, choose what they wanted. What we fight wars for, Mr. Pilkington, does not necessarily apply in peace. I still don't see how we can force people. Obviously, I would rather let everybody choose. But I don't have the right and I don't have the time. One too many for lint, sir. Or only one. Are we in luck today? Paul says he has an Austrian wife. They'll believe him at Linz. Why should they believe him at Linz? I don't. Where are his papers to prove it? Mush papira. His wife has the papers. They were separated in the morning. Let him wait here till she finds him. He is right. He should wait. I might have waited in his case. If he hadn't tried to sneak on the lintz lorry, put him under close arrest. Next lorry for Price Stat, march him off. Oh, up, come on, come on, Sean. More and more arriving, we just had to move more quickly, that's all. Oh, hey, come on up the deck. 
All right, Alvin. All right. Check it up. I hope you come back. You can always come and get me if I don't. Not bloody likely. Oh, it's true. Some of them are glad to get back. Why don't we send the pole to Lynn's and let him explain there? And, well, maybe they'll let him stay on. I don't need the Americans to settle my problems, Mr. Pilkington. I know they have God and General Eisenhower on their side, but that doesn't make all their decisions wholly writ. Supposing he does have an Austrian wife after all? Then the Russians will undoubtedly return him to us. You know they won't, sir. They never send anyone back. Are you exaggerating? Anyway, the orders were drafted at Yalta by Mr. Roosevelt, Mr. Churchill, and Marshal Stalin. Orders are to be obeyed, and I just hope that if my best friend had to be sent to Freistadt, I would send him there. Janovic. Maria. Come on, you horrors. Stand to. Major likes a smart man. You've got a grouch. Don't slouch. Right, next gate. In you go. Smartly now. Kommen Sie, kommen Sie näher, Fräulein. Vorüber wollen Sie sich beschweren. Machen Sie schnell. 
Englische Soldaten haben das gemacht. Ich möchte zwei Lebensmittelkarten und Geld. She says British soldiers raped her. She wants two ration cards and money. Und damit we've only been here five weeks. Well, the Englanders sind erst fünf Wochen hier. Geflüchtete Gefangene waren es. Escaped prisoners did it, she says. Well, that's going to be hard to prove. Even when the baby's born, it's not going to come out seeing God save the king. Give her one ration card. Well, one and a half. Dismiss next. Sie bekommen eine und eine halbe Lebensmittelkarte. Geben Sie erst Renate. Right, next case, forward march. Up, 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 up. Oh, what a relief to see you at last, old chap. I say, uh, could I have a chat alone with you all, ma'am? Sir, if you please. Anything you have to say to me may be said in front of my subordinates. Where are your papers? Actually, I'm Miss Ladle. Well, between gentlemen, papers indeed. This war has substituted papers for human decency. I used to be a trinity before the war. Perhaps you too were at Cambridge. I never went to university. I'm sure we have mutual friends from your school. Eton, is it? Harold? Let's speak to Mr. Pilkington about that. That's more his line. But surely you know Captain Reggie Lomax of the Blues. I was in a fighting regiment, not with a lot of fancy polo players. Now stand up and get the other side of my desk. Now what is your name and what is your complaint? Uh, Karashi. Count Ishtvan Karash. How do you spell that? It's all right. We have his record, yes. I see you borrowed the pot from my cousin's family. I never borrow, I buy. Do you know, old chap, I had a ghastly time getting to the west from Hungary. My hunter broke a leg and I had to walk, simply miles. You better pack your saddlebags and get ready to go right back. Major, it's a lie I worked for the Nazis. I infiltrated them for the resistance. When did you join the resistance in Hungary? Last year. <laughs> the risks I ran. Changed size when we were winning, did you? No papers? Price tag. For God's sake, old boy. I am nobody's old boy. Next. Next, 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 next. I mean, how can you possibly be so sure? That's right and that's wrong. Even the Almighty would take longer. Well, far worse to rot here slowly. Better to get men home quick, even if there are some mistakes. The Major is very brave to choose for us. You're an expert in hope, Yanovich. Look, Malik is a happy man. It's very good for him here. Ah, he says he got 15 new fleas today. Oh. Well, he's a master. You know, he had a very famous flea circus in Zagreb. Yeah. You have to have human fleas in Malik's trade, you know. Well, our new arrivals have many. Uh, well, you know, animal fleas are not good because they haven't eaten the right food. <laughs> for every flea for Malik, I pay one potato. <laughs> here, here, Malik. You see? Malik is happy to have a flea. The man is happy to lose a flea and to have a potato. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> you know, you know why the fleas do that? Because a human hair tied round the middle keeps them in place. Whenever they try to hop away, that makes the trick. And it's funny. Trying to escape is funny. But Malik, he's an inventor, a genius. He knows exactly how to put the human hair round their neck. They can live only one week like that, but what tricks? The desperate amuses men. <laughs> funny creatures we are. Das ist wunderbar. Ja, it is wonderful. This is the British zone. It's wonderful. Do you want a beer, mister? Very cheap. Do you want a beer, mister? Very cheap. Or schnapps? Ja, schnapps. Your German is very good. <laughs> so is my English. My priest teach me. 
Vodka, mister? No, no, whiskey, mister. It's vodka, comrade. And what for Yanovich? Home. That's easy to give. If a man will stay. If a man can. Mm. <laughs> 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 Russian. Ochin Joshua vodka. Ochin Joshua vodka. Ah. <laughs> There's nothing old fashioned about good form, particularly in wartime. Most courage is really a matter of form. You don't run away with these bad form in front of your friends. Uh, I always think that courage has more to it than that. Um, personal choice. Against orders sometimes. Uh, yes, bad form, but right. That's very idealistic. <laughs> I know, I never make a good soldier if I think like that. Well, I don't know. The army's not against a man having principles or taking a chance, provided it works. To make a choice alone, against the rest. I could tell you a cautionary tale. It never happened, of course. But like all stories that never happened, it happened once upon a time. There was an officer. And one fine winter's afternoon, not too very long ago, he went for a stroll all alone. Ahead of him, the Germans held a bridge, a small but desperately important bridge. It was mined, of course. He strolled towards it. The officers of his battalion waved him back. They didn't want him to, to go it alone. But he thought this was a chance worth taking. After all, he was only risking his own life, not the lives of the whole battalion. Besides, it was possible that no one would shoot at him, just one officer strolling along all alone. The Germans covering the bridge might hesitate and wonder what he was doing and give him a chance to make a sudden dash, get under the bridge and cut the wires leading to the charges. It would be the Victoria Cross if he made it. If not, posthumous Victoria Cross. There must have been a, an old soldier on that German machine gun. Fire first, ask questions later. He fired, and the Major never made it to the wires. Five machine gun bullets hit him, and the Germans blew the bridge anyway. He thought he'd be a brave man, alive or dead. He never realized it could be a, an in-between. Um, uh, what happened to him, sir? Oh, he lived happily ever after. <laughs> it's the way these stories always end, isn't it? <laughs> yes, well, you better turn in now, I suppose. I've got a lot of work to do tomorrow. There's a lot of people to help us. A lot to do, yes. Thank you, Francis. Good night. Good night, Charles. That story doesn't mean you never should take a chance. If it's the right chance to take, disobey. If you can pay for it. I see you had a roll call. You know the rules. No fraternization. You're under arrest. Wonder she didn't give you a haircut while you were sleeping, eh, Samson? Nazis! 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 <laughs> Nose. Nazis. Nos in Russian. Ear. <laughs> oh. Uche. Chick. Wange. Schika. Chin. Kin. But Barodak. But Barodak. <laughs> Lip. Lip. In Russian, Gupta. <laughs> you must.
must learn some Russian. Russia may take all Austria, who knows? I go then. I go with you. Look, Maria, I've only been west as far as here. I must see more. Come with me. If the Russians come and take you in from me, I'll go with you. But I do not go until I must. My father and mother died here. My husband lived here. This is all I have. I'm sorry, Doctor. There's no excuse for Mr. Pilkington being late for morning surgery. And Yanovich, where the hell is he? You may think he's indispensable. Between you and me, sir. Yes. Well, he's just along. He doesn't think he is. He's charging it a bit, though, sir. Just check the stores. A 60 blanket short. <laughs> oh, well, don't worry about it. Those 60 blankets are better used by Yanovich than they ever would be just sitting in our store. Oh, that reminds me. Better get our store straightened up right away. You know, not too much, not too little. My spies tell me that the brigadier is going to come and inspect us. We don't uh, know that, of course. Oh, of course, sir. I want this to look like the best DP camp the British have ever had. There won't be an ob nail too many or too few, sir. May even have to trade with Janovich. <laughs> I wouldn't trade Janovich for a whole brigade of heavy tanks. We are going to have a new arrival in the camp. Oh, maybe his cup of tea didn't agree with him. Oh, don't be an idiot. I mean, the lion's take oh. boys. Yes, sir. Well, where's the doctor? He'll have to get on the blower in the office. It don't seem worth it, really. Poor son's due for Freistad tomorrow, and he knows. I'm sorry, Major, sir. Pardon. I'm delayed. Evidently. Confined to camp for two days. Of course, Major, sir, except when I drive you out of camp. Of course. Where were you? I arrange uh, recreation. Not fraternization? No, 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 not fraternization, sir. No, I, I know the orders, Major, sir. I do not fraternize. I, I harmonize. I hope you know the difference. There's a bad case of fraternization waiting for us right now. March in the program, sir. Sir, escort. We march. Tell him that in spite of the ban on fraternization, he was found in bed with an Austrian woman. I know he's Hungarian, so first truck for Freistadt in the morning. Freistadt bar, come in. Uh, Kamensky's dying, Giles. He's taken poison. We, 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 we must have the doctor. What the hell do you think you're doing? This is not the officer's mess. Stand to attention. Salute. Call me, sir. Sir, oh, uh, uh, Kamensky's uh, taken poison. We, we simply must have the doctor. Did you give an emetic? No, sir. Then go and do so. Well, he'd rather die than go to Freistadt. Uh, can't you possibly send the doctor? The doctor is delivering a child. Oh, mop up your bleeding heart, Mr. Bilkington. Some die here, some live. I'll send the doctor when he has a moment. Put Kovacs on a close rest until tomorrow morning. Camp orders must be obeyed. Someone get me in a message. Huh? Uh, uh, something to make Kamensky sick. You know, uh, mustard and salt and some hot water and take it straight to the garden, right? Don't worry, Mr. Lieutenant, all can be fixed. Even dying? Especially dying, living is much harder to fix. Just sign them, and all will be well. These are three blank passes to the cells. He's got to be filled in. Just sign, and I'll bring in the three kings on their way east. Uh, 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 a fin kilogram. Borea. Piat kilogram. Thank you. Thank you. Next to Vita. Ah, ich freue mich Sie zu sehen, Vater. Ja, wir müssen uns beeilen. Uh, hier sind die zwei Passe. Bitte machen Sie schnell. Borja, Gaubwach. 
Just been to the guard room. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a witch in there. I know, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I don't mean a conjurer like you. I mean a real witch, and she is killing Kamensky. Well, she is the local wise woman. She knows all the poisons here, and she uses them too. If she kills him, well, he's dead anyway at Freistadt, isn't he? And Kovacs, he's just getting married in his cell. I mean, the major just won't allow that. Pardon me, Mr. Lieutenant. The certificate of marrying will be dated two days ago. Suppose I'd refuse to sign the pass, and I mean, what would the woman do there? Have another child for Austria. What do you mean, bastard? Do you think Austria will not need in ten years many hands? Hands do not need to have the right father. They just need to be there to work the earth. You mean you encourage the men here and the... Village women. Oh, it's disgusting. It's like animals. In the country, it's always like that. If, if the Major finds out what they're doing to his ban on fraternization, I, I don't know. They do not fraternize. No, they do not fraternize. They just sleep together. But doesn't Major Burnside meet you in the afternoon, Yellow? Yeah? I believe they say in his country. What the Major does not know will not hurt him. Oh, span, pictures, Californian yellow flame. Ah, it's all American. Won't they miss it? Nah, they wouldn't miss our Liberty ship. Where's the art stuff? This way. Dolia! Dolia! Divier client! Let's do it! Bringing up his wages, eh? You speak English now? Let me help you. He takes in the vodka without wishing through the pores of his skin. We must have alcoholic pores, then. Well. <coughs> okay, Jano, you got yourself a deal, mate. Very good produce. American. We do not have meat like this in Russia. Take it. I do not take. 
I do not mean. Yes, you do mean. Because I am poor Russian. Steady, Chano. Not a to join your arms there. You don't want to drop it on his head, do you? Mr. Rusky, you're on the wrong side of the fence, aren't you? You wish to make an official complaint? Nothing said, nothing said. Что, капитан? Печина, груза, водка. That is what I want. G? Yes, a G. Major, sir, fine. Do you think I don't believe the evidence of my own eyes? I tell you, they're fine. You gutted them. It's a price tap for you, and I'm going to drive you there myself. Well? What's wrong, Major, sir? At my inspection this morning, there were parts missing from every Jeep. Strange thing, Major, sir. This afternoon, the Americans in Linz reported a shortage of Jeep parts. Well, they have so much, they won't miss it. You're intolerable, you know. Yes, sir. Don't you ever do anything like this again? Never, sir. The trouble is, you think you run this camp. No, no, sir. Whatever I do, you have the last blame. Yes. Spit, mate, we need that, your bleeding toe caps. Yeah. Go! Spit! Hey. Boots black for the use of. Come on, lads. Bloody bull. Come on, jump to it. I've got much time left. Now, lads, when the Brigadier says not a bad turnout, of course, you look like a bleeding shower, but Brigadiers are a soft, dark lot, you see. So when Brigadier Bewley says, did anyone inform you that I was coming here on the snap inspection? What do you say? No, no, no sir. sir. Private Amos. Sergeant? Is that a moustache or part of your breakfast? It's a moustache, Sergeant. Mm -hmm. Two months growing, it looks like a dandelion puff. Why? Well, uh, my hair's a bit bashful, Sergeant. Bashful, eh, laddie? Well, I'm not. Come on, oh. off with that buzz at the double. Brigadier will be here any minute now. Does that name mean anything to you? Not a sausage, sir. Oh, hello, Alison. Not going to get lost this time, eh? You know where we're going? DP Camper. Yeah, but which one? Oh, 4B. Oh, you know where that is? It's where you put the pin and the map for it to be, sir. I checked, Ruth, sir. Oh, uh, Ruth said you navigate. Come on, Alison, let's get cracking. That's it. Left! That's not a very propitious start, is it? Come on, Alison. 
That's backwards, backwards, Sally. That's it. Burnside. It doesn't ring a bell with you, eh? No, sir. Oh, Bridges. Bridges and Burns. Like bread and butter. There you go. That's it, Alison. Pulling up. Looks like a health resort. Charge of the guard! Turn out the guard! Guard ready for your inspection, sir. Very good turnout, Sergeant. Tell me, did you uh, know I was coming today? No, sir. I see. Well, Captain Ritz, you'd better get the sergeant's recipe for keeping trousers permanently creased. Peyton, that would make a fortune, huh? Yeah. All right, carry on, Sergeant. Up. Stop! You're on the beauties! Please! Stop! Major Burnside, sir. Burnside? Not Bridge Burnside. Not to my knowledge, sir. Your visit is a welcome surprise. Welcome surprise or a well-prepared one? A welcome one, sir. May I escort you around the camp? Delighted. Yeah, charming spot you got here. Reminds me of Cumberland. I've got a cottage there. It's Pilkington, sir. Oh, Pilkington. Very glad to see you. Thank you, Major, sir, for making the stay here so brief and so pleasant. Oh, that's just the job. Uh, new intake arriving, sir. Welcome in Camp 4B. Please steigen Sie in Wagen und stellen Sie sich in eine Reihe. Sie bekommen eine Decke als Geschenk und nachher etwas zu essen. Bitte. Helpen Sie uns, und wir helfen Ihnen. That's a very useful fellow you've got held on there. Yes, sir. He was hard to find and difficult to persuade. Uh -huh. oh. My goodness me. Good Lord. Uh. Oh, it's very good. Very good. Oh, hello. What's this, eh? What's it called? Of arts and crafts department, huh? <laughs> Fiddle, do eh? We can have a concert, right? <laughs> what? My sleep! Not bad, Major. Private Lennox was a dishwasher at the Savoy, sir. Oh, good show. Thank you for that. Timing, Major, is too perfect. Thank you very much, sir. You'll have to order something to go wrong, or else I'll give you a black mark for finding nothing to criticize. <laughs> You're too kind, sir. Would you care to come to the mess, sir? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, Burnside, you've done a remarkable job. My compliments. Thank you very much, sir. I have missed my regiment, sir. If I could be posted back. I was second in command of the battalion when I re him. Yes. Well, the fighting's over, Burnside, and perhaps the battalion in peacetime is too small for a man of your your talents. Well, I've never really thought outside the regiment, so if I could be posted back. I, I'm not really an administrator, and I don't care for being a sort of British Gestapo. Hmm. I'm a plain fighting soldier. But I hope this is the last war, Major. 
Well, there have been enough incidents with the Russians on the border for me to think... Oh, don't think that. <laughs> My goodness me, the Russians are our allies. There are no incidents with them, only dialogues. Uh, Pilkington, the sorry father last week. In uh, dead form, sent you his, you know... Oh, thank you, sir. Would you, uh, send him back my, you know? Yeah, I know. Uh, you'll be staying on in the service, of course. It's in the family. Uh, people with your background should do pretty well. Oh, thank you, sir. Um, I shall be going back to university to study languages. I've been told that they're going to be most important uh, in the new Europe. Oh, yes, and in the new army. We could use fellows like you on the staff. Well, no, sir. Whatever my father might say, uh, um... Not really cut out for fighting. My dear Pilkington, whoever joined the army to fight? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Turn out the guard! Oh, silly Billy Allison. You didn't tip Burnside off that I was coming, did you, Root? No, sir. When Burnside asked me when you were coming, I said Tuesday morning. But it was a snap inspection. You insisted everything went as per normal. Your future in the army appears about as dim as Major Burnside. I don't understand, sir. Like Burnside, you like to put on a very good show. Often too good a show. He once tried to take a bridge all alone, a sort of... Horatio in reverse, if you know what I mean. Well, of course he didn't do it. The bridge was blown up. And we lost some 200 men crossing that river when we might have taken the bridge conventionally for 20. All the same, it was a bloody brave show. Brave show. We needed that bridge. And the men alive. Are their widows going to thank him for wanting another ribbon on his chest? He made a very gallant mistake. And the army captain roots is worse than an elephant. Not only does it never forget, it never forgives. Major, sir. I know you'll find out all I do, so I'll show you first. Anna, thin for British men. Marta, for Russian men. What about the orders against fraternization? Oh, they do not fraternize, Major, sir. They just serve food, drink, talk for button. What about the Russians and the British fraternizing? There is the iron chain, Major, sir. You decided on that. Can the, um, can the Austrians come here? Oh, anyone. I call that democratic. I call it bloody cunning. Sit down, Major. Sir, have a whiskey. On the house. No, no, thank you. I can't condone it. See what you whiskey. You've already fixed it with the Russians. For today. Who knows about tomorrow over there? Major Balsa. A good surprise. A glass of vodka to our glorious alliance. Vodka. You make it hard to refuse. Come over to our side. Let's shout across the border. So you don't mind uh, drinking in the same room as your men? We have a people's army, Major. All comrades. <laughs> Sheer hypocrisy. What we call the English disease. Have another vodka. No, thank you. Well, I must say it's quite a little Shangri-La. You wouldn't think there's a war on. There isn't now. You call that peace? I hope we shall cooperate forever. I hope so, too. To test it, one request. Yes. Do you approve of this place? I cannot approve. In that case, if you have no use for it, surrender you have. I surrender nothing, particularly War Department property. Property? It means more than you got to, you capitalist swine. Well, that's a laugh from people who've taken half of Europe. Major, sir, you will not forbid. 
The English had an admiral once, and when they flew a, a signal he didn't approve of, he put his telescope to his blind eye. But why bring him here? Hmm, he and I, we work all right together. And you must have an English officer to protect the Alton house. Of course, there is Pilkington. But he's a boy. If he is a boy, I can manage. I would be jealous. You know, I think he's still a virgin. <laughs> Don't laugh. He's lucky. Nobody's still a virgin who has lived for a war. Distributor, I'll fix it. As always. How long? Half an hour. While we are waiting, you can have a rest. Oh, all right. Be as quick as you can. Speak English? A bit. Uh, may I help you? Please. Is it very hard for you? I live, which is better than not. Too. But you do look like a boy doing that with the. What do you call them? Uh, pine cones. Pine cones. <laughs> I saw you before at the Alpen House. Do you live there? It's mine. Oh. May I come and visit you again? Do not fraternize, your mate you says. Surely you obey your mate, you? Well, he said that I could uh, disobey orders if I thought I ought. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> seeing you, I think I ought. <laughs> I must be going. Uh, do you know Yanovich? Everybody knows Yanovich. May I come and visit you? May I? One of my men would have walked in and find me. If I weren't the major in command, would I be where I am now? No. <laughs> You're very honest, even when it does you no good. You want me, and you take. I want the Alpen house. Take it. Oh, the advantage of having just a few hundred words of basic English. 
No subtlety, no evasions. And no love. Oh, well, women are funny that way. You think you have them for a moment, and then afterwards, you might as well be a stranger. It's as though they were ashamed of having shown you that they wanted you. When we're making love, you want me, all right. If I love a man, I want to love him alone. If I must love him, how can I love him when I cannot choose? Some women like being persuaded. Yours? Mm. I do like it. You help me, you protect me. But it's only the war makes me go with you. In peace, I would have still a husband. In peace, you would not be here. It's peace now. The war's over, remember? When I'm posted back to my regiment, will you follow me? Where to? Your schloss? <laughs> oh, you would think that. They're not all of us as a lords. Do you have a country house? Well, now, you just get a rented room near the barracks. When I retire, a cottage no bigger than this and half pay. You get me, that's all, and the army. No, I've never had any money. I never will have any. Soldiers are like bad luck. People want to forget them once the horror's over. I stay. You couldn't care for me enough? To... I stay. I can come and visit you on my leave. When you're not the major here, why visit? Perhaps for you, I feel a man. You're good to me, Charles. Very good. But you are the major. And you will go where the army goes. Jano? You say you do not come. Well, the major is busy. He is having dinner with a brigadier. Mean business, sir. I see it arrived. You mean to say you sent it? Your office is not in the chapel? We are not always as advertised. No, it is our magazine. And to what do I owe the pleasure of this invitation, Captain? Your interpreter, Major. Yes, he's a very useful man. Would you like to borrow him? Not to interpret. Would you come inside? Oh, that's very nice. Spoils of war. In your country, I believe it's a gentleman's game. All Russians play. Well, what about my interpreter? He's a deserter from the Red Army. His real name is Makarov. Look. That's him. A deserter. You, Yanovich. He'll desert you, too. I don't think that's him. He's too useful to you, isn't he? When was he supposed to have deserted? A week before Yanovich joined you. Oh, after the war was over. Well, I'd call that absent without leave. That's not a very 
grave crime. A deserter working for the British. That is a serious crime. A political crime. I've told you, I don't think it's him. And you don't want him anyway. One man when you've lost 22 million dead. Oh, no, no, you've had orders from higher up. You want to embarrass us. We want him back. And our agreement with you is you must return all deserters or there'll be trouble for you, Major. A Russian deserter running you, Kemp? I run my own show. Then your honor as a British officer, Major, will make you send him back to us at Freistadt. Freistadt? No Burnside then. I'm so sorry, Ian. I understand. The Majors, they take what you have. But in peace, they can do nothing. Sharing the loot. I was sent to look for you at the Alpenhaus. I will not go back. The Major will send me to Freistadt. I don't believe it. It's true. Then you must go away. What happened? A Russian soldier drinking here last night says Captain Kamenev knows the truth about me. I'm a deserter from the Russian army. A deserter? You ran away from your comrades in battle. Oh, no. The war was over. Maria, leave her. Well, I'll... Uh... Just stroll over there and promise to join me, Yanovich. Yes, Mr. Lieutenant. You will forget me. Oh, no. I will not forget you, Maria. I'll come back. Since the war began, no one came back. You must trust me. Now you take me back. I couldn't take you back to camp and Freistadt. What about your Major's orders? Oh, damn, Burnside and his bloody orders! You've aged, Mr. Lieutenant. And just as well. You'd have used that on me. Oh, yes, if I had to. Oh, you don't mind killing others to survive. That's what being a soldier means. And I have fought and lived much longer than you. You can help me cross the border. Help you desert again? Save your own sweet hide? You know why I deserted? Because it's peace now. We all fought the war. We all knew why we fought. But now it's peace. What do you do here? Nobody asked you here. Nobody wants you here. You want to fight the peace with guns? Go home, soldier. Go home. Fine words, Yanovich. Why don't you go home? Oh, get out. I'll give you 30 seconds. Go on, get out, you bloody gypsy! How easy for you to be the judge. With your home, money, right? But if you have no home, what do you fight? Your comrades. And if your comrades fight for Hitler, 
like mine? No. Daniel is a good man. He showed me how to live in a bad time. Yes, but there's more to life than just living. There's... There's just living. And Jano made me want to live. Commit, Fraulein. Deinam Pachelovac. Nein! Rot, Smolchi! Schiri, Rot! Was hast du ja das in dies? Russia, they are good men. They haven't seen their wives for too long. We are all lonely. I too. Sit with me. My husband was at Stalingrad. I didn't send him there. I didn't ask you here. I shall order the Alpinaus out of bounds. Russians shouldn't come to harm you. Come still, they do nothing. No, we do nothing. Nothing to do. Stay on the British side. Your Major will protect you. He'll be going. They will all be going. And Jano is gone. Then perhaps I... Uh, perhaps I could protect. Just shown my passport. You lost the war, Mac. Janovic, mach du bitte den Trick aus dem Camp, Janovic. Den Trick aus dem Camp, Janovic. Herr Schneider, what camp? Last morning orders. Well, we're just about cleaned up here now. Quite satisfactory, really. But Janovic. It's very convenient, his uh, having escaped like that. Well, we've just about beaten winter to it. Yes. One last case, sir. Who is it? Mrs. Heidi Kaminsky. And the Americans request we give you every assistance to find your missing husband. Kaminsky, Kaminsky. I know who it is, sir. The Pole who tried to commit suicide. We sent him half dead to Freistadt. He wouldn't believe that he had an Austrian wife. 
Yes, I remember. You had your papers. You went to Freistadt. Freistadt. You have to the Russian. You can't even to the Russian. Somebody detail a jeep and escort her to the checkpoint at the frontier. Yes, sir. Why have you done that? How will I find them? Get in the door! Oh, no. I knew we should have believed her. With all those thousands, there had to be one or two mistakes. The point was to get them sorted out quickly. Individuals don't matter a damn in war. There's no person except in peace. Oh, she'll meet up with them again. They're really very fair at Freistadt. People just go on about it too much. Yes? The missing man returned to our uh, jurisdiction, sir. Where'd you find him? Headed for Switzerland, sir. He had a pretty good passport, but not good enough. Well, that was bad luck, Janovich. Thank you. Well, I forgot to tell you, Major, sir, I need a holiday, so I went to ski in Samaritz. Why didn't you trust me? I already made out your papers for Linz and the dossier saying how much you'd helped us. Then you had to make a run for it. Why, man? You do know I never let my personal feelings interfere with anything I think is right. Now everybody knows you. So long as you were anonymous, you were as safe as a house. You didn't exist. In fact, I was protecting your safety. Why didn't you trust me? I'm sorry, Major, sir. In Yiddish, they say, it's easier to know ten lands than one man. Well, you've got the dossier, sir. He could still stand a chance of limbs. By all the rules in the book, you should go to Freistadt. Mm. Give me Burns here on the phone. Sir? Uh, sorry to disturb you, boy. It's about that chap of yours, Janovic. The one the Americans picked up, you know, the chap the Russians called Makarov, the deserter. Well, they're going to some bother about him. An excuse for trouble. Uh, look, here, I've had a strict directive from the War Office. No incidents in our zone at any price. Listen, Burnside. He's to be handed over at once. That's an order. Let me know when you've carried it out. Ready it going. Good luck. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. Please tell Lieutenant Pilkington how much I miss saying goodbye to him. I'll give him your regards. All right, somebody. All right. Major Burnside, I shall not forget you. Goodbye, Yanovich. already gone. You said nine o'clock. I wanted to say goodbye to Yanovich. Oh, I'm sorry. I was in such a hurry. I'm not properly dressed. Oh, don't worry about it. The job's over. You'll be in civilian clothes soon anyway. Your heart's not in this. The lorry! It's turned off for Freistadt. Over to the Russians. Stay where you are, that's an order. I'll stop the lorry. Sorry.
Sergeant Woody has orders not to stop for anybody. Oh, I'll stop it. Don't you dare disobey me. He'll be all right, you know. He's a very clever man. People like that get along in any society. They're too useful to liquidate. And he's a professional survivor. Yes, but you said... I said what, Mr. Pilkington? Well, Yanovich thought he was going to Linz. Lucky for him, poor chap. We didn't want him to resist, now did we? But he's a deserter. They're bound to shoot him. I doubt that. That's the trouble with all you young officers. You jump to conclusion. How many thousands have been through this camp since you've been here? And how many important ones politically? Maybe... Maybe the Russians planted Yanovich on us as an agent. Did you think of that? Oh, when it gets down to dirty politics, then soldiers are just paid to obey, that's all. Oh, God, to get back to clean fighting instead of this trading in flesh. He simply wanted to live. Don't we all? Oh. Done, sir. So you packed him off to Freistar. Good. Yeah, well, well, hold on, uh, Major Burnside. There's a posting come through for you. Uh, well, just give me that posting, Major Burnside. Just hold on, will you? I'll, uh, I'll read it back to you. I'm sorry, sir. I have ordered more of your plans from Fortnite. Yeah, come on, hurry up, Ruth. Um, yes, it's, um, it's bad luck, Burnside. Uh, you've been posted to Indonesia. Another camp. Well, you've put up such a terribly good show here. I'm afraid there's no question of your rejoining your regiment. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, do come along and have a drink before you go, won't you? Bye. You sent him back. Of course. What did you expect? Yanu said you would. Well, Yano was always right. I had hoped that Major Burnside would... No one can hope with Burnside. You see, I could have gone after him sooner and stopped the lawyer and helped him to escape. And I didn't. Didn't say a damn thing. I'm just like every other bloody Nazi. Oh! I did not see my hair, no, and I was just obeying orders, not guilty. Oh, guilty. Now you know why we all do nothing and live and let the living die.
bloody hypocritical lying bastard. say, sir, now that the camp's closing down and all packed up, it's, uh, it's been a privilege and uh, a bloody fine soldier, sir. <laughs> 